Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode, what did we do? Well, we set up, or tried, started to set up the um, automatic cobble gen build. Now, what I'm going to do today, is I need to carry on with that. But, I've got a few things that we also need to do. So let's have a look at those first of all. I'm basically got the assembly table running here to make another machine frame and also to make some transfer pipes so we've got plenty of material in here for that and i'd also like to make a sterling generator but you know, it does take a while to get all those things running so while that's all running away what i want to do is to get some more automation done for the quarry so what i want to do is to set up two filters so we're going to get some filters out of here and the one i want as this one so let's see how many I can build I'll do all I can four so I can get four filters so what I want to do with the filters is to set up a filter on the um what do I want to do? I want some carbon and I want some bits and pieces so what I want to do here is I want to have a filter oh, I need to put me on the chest back I removed it I'll tell you why I removed it because I wanted to make a copy of a to show uh, to do a screenshot so there we go. Does it not go on there? Yes, it does. So what I want to do is to put a filter in here so it doesn't try to filter stuff other than the three things it's got. So we've got some moon turf here, some moon rock, and some moon dirt. And I don't want to filter those through, so let's just set up one of these filters for that. Right, click it, and then we can set up moon, uh, moon rock, moon dirt, and moon turf. And we can put this filter into here like that and then it's not going to accept anything else because the other stuff is going to come in like ores and cheese so i'd like those to stay but also i'd like to send out of here sometimes when this is empty which it isn't at the moment but will be fairly soon i'd like to send out of there um some carbon so let's go and do that on the other side I want some carbon here let's have a look take two stacks of carbon let's put another filter on here i might need another node actually hopefully i don't probably will do no me like that so i've got this filter set up for carbon i bet you haven't got a node on here that i can actually get Oop, wrong way yeah that's what i thought you you can see here this has stopped because it's run out of power what I want to do is I want to put a filter on here to pull the items out and go into here. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll go and pinch that from below because when I was doing the automation I haven't got enough bits and pieces for that yet. So I also need to create the sterling generator and a node. So I might have lost set up that as well for thinking about it. So let's go and get those from downstairs. I've got enough bits here basically, I just want to take out the first, I can use this hammer here. I'll take that one, that one, and that one, put this, put the stuff back into here, because we have picked up some, uh, a stack of cobblestone when we were there, so that's, that's cool. Right, up we go again, and let's go to the quarry. I'm going to put it on the top so that I don't get, um, it joining to the uh well actually it doesn't really matter if it joins so that doesn't really i don't want to necessarily join straight to the stony generator i could do maybe that's just as sensible so i only then need to put in let's put that there i was going to send this to the chest maybe that's a good idea still let's put it on the top and let's send it into this chest if i've got enough bits which i think i have two should be enough so one let's try that No, it isn't enough. I need a third one, but I can put this filter into here first of all to prevent the moon dirt coming in because I want to send in here um, carbon, don't I? So if I put that moon dirt back into it, actually, I can put all of these in here now, can't I? Like that. If I put the carbon into here, we should see this coming into this filter up here, I hope, because it's the only place it can go to. 
So I do need another pipe. Let's just go and get another pipe. Yeah, we'll get copper ore and tin ore, I think, and cheese from the moon as well as um, the, the other moon resources like dirt and rock and whatever, and turf. Uh, downstairs, isn't it? Like that. Oops. So what I can do then is simply put in a couple of stacks of carbon, and that'll then get fed into the um, into the generator and start mining and start quarrying again, which will be sort of quite a nice way to sort of solve that problem for the time being. Let's put that on there. So now everything connects up. So we get the carbon into this chest. As soon as the carbon goes into this chest, it goes into the generator, and this starts to work again. In fact, that's pretty good. I'll leave that like that. But I also want to go right down to the bottom again and have a look at how we're doing on this. So 2.8 billion is it's going a bit slow. I probably should put onto this the um, uh, that sterling generator when it's actually not working to make sure this goes up faster. So in the meantime, what else can we do? Well, the reason I'm building this machine frame let's go back here is to make the ignis extruder if i can see it i'm being blind as usual where have you gone to ignis extruder ah i really can't oh there it is okay so we need 10 blocks of that uh, i'm going to do the sterling generator i think i think i had a plan to do this but I haven't got another 90 redstone. I need to make some more redstone as well. Fact, there is another thing I want to show you between times while we're, while these things are all progressing slowly. Let's go and make some um, another material. We're going to make grass. Now this should... I, I run out of... Um, f uh, what's it called? Fire grow. F site grow or fight grow. Let's make some of that first as well. So we need some, we need some coal dust, and we need some slag. Oops, I've got some rich slag as well. Let's just take uh, a few of those, and we need some. What else do we need? That nitrous thingy. There it is. So what we can make. Well, let's have a look at the uses of this. Probably the easiest way. Oops, that doesn't work, does it? You know, you've got to be in the right field for this thing. It's a bit awkward sometimes. So the one we can make is this one. But we can't, we've got the saltpeter, so we can make this one. So we can shift click that, and that'll give one stack. Let's make, let's make a few stacks. Let's make all of what we can, actually. So that seems to be uh, still going. I thought we'd run out of coal by now. Carry on. Right, now we've run out of coal. So we can put all of this back. In fact, I'll do that the quick way. And just keep one stack to myself. So if I control shift click this up here and then take this one, that'll go into the system while we're going along here. Put this into here like this to get some more wood. Now, what do we want the wood for? Well, wood's very useful. We can make out of that some. Um, uh, Cellulose. In fact, I think we can also do it with this as well. We've got a lot of coal. we've got a lot of um, fishing rods. So let's decompose these fishing rods. We get seven cellulose, and we get this aliline, glycine, and serine. So let's put those away. Serine. Now, what we also want to do. I would like some oxygen and some hydrogen. So I think when you're decomposing, um, or the decomposing uh, cactus, you end up with some 
methylene as well which has got carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen so that's a fairly good one to actually start to decompose there's not much uses for this I might even keep this nit nitrate here because I think that's used in other components as well so we take the hydrogen and we'll also decompose some uh, I've probably got loads of it actually I've got 10 coal didn't need to take those when they did I let's take this um, oxygen here how many have we got 59 not enough let's decompose a couple of stacks of this as well so we've got hydrogen carbon let's put those away see that's already full and that's that's where you get our copper off. so let's take the copper out of here because it's probably throwing stuff oh no it's probably all right at the moment because these are still going up in fact we need to feed this thing if i feed it as a potato let's feed it with a potato it'll speed up the process a bit and then it should keep this maybe it'll keep this in have enough capacity of that doesn't tell me if it's going faster let's have a look well it looks like it's going faster anyway let's not mess around with this so what have I got in here I want to put this into the decomposer don't I to get the oxygen in here and then we'll leave the rest of the stuff away over here so now we want one stack of that and I think it's I'm not exactly sure I think it's two so let's have a look at the uses for this one well it's fuel and we can transpose it so we can decompose it but the one we're actually interested in is actually it's got a lot of uses for the for the synthesizer and the one I'm looking for is grass blocks if I can find it did I miss it there we go so one cellulose with two oxygen oh and one silicon aha silicon dioxide okay fine so let's get some let's get some obsidian have I got some obsidian with me I haven't got any silicon dioxide actually let's have a look at that yes I have a look so if we actually decompose the silicon dioxide which is what I should have done in the first place we don't need too many of these so it was one of those oops I've put seven I'll get rid of that no it was in the top wasn't it and then we want uh, oxygen and silicon so I think it was one of those and two oxygen yes and then we get 16 grass blocks doesn't sound a lot well let's watch this that's 48 would have run out of I've run out of um, cellulose let's make some more cellulose let's stick the rest of this wood in here that'll do 64 and they probably need some wood for other stuff so let's take this out of here and 16 and then let's put this stuff away we don't need that and let's put those cellulose up there and then probably need to get rid of the hydrogen because I was confused I was thinking of water oxygen and magnesium let's get rid of that and we need some more silicon dioxide I think oh we've got plenty in here look so that's basically not even a stack of wood and look at all that that grass blocks that we get in here I'll put the silicon away for that one. Get another one. What else have we got on here? How much more have we got? Plenty actually. Okay. Now, what you can do with these here is you can decompose these. And look what you get when you decompose that. So, we'll look for the uses. It's right. We get silicon, we get magnesium and oxygen, lead, zinc, gallium. I didn't see that actually. And, so, and you get cellulose, so titanium oxide, lead oxide, 
zinc oxide gallium arsenide and so yes, that's what you get from doing decomposing these which are really quite useful components and difficult to get other in other ways especially the um, gallium arsenide that's quite a difficult one to get and it's fairly cheap a bit of wood you don't it's not the risk the, the frequency isn't that high But if you think about it, the amount of actually done in here was actually reasonably low, like one block of obsidian and one stack of wood. Keep clicking it off. We don't get that much in terms of minerals, but the zilic, but the gallium arsenide is useful. I'll just keep clicking it away here like this. We got eight, nine. So that's all of it. So just with just with these two alone, it makes it worthwhile. So titanium lead. And so what we can put away is magnesium. What else do we have in here? Oxygen. And the other and the other materials we can put away in here. I'll keep the gallium oxide uh, arsenic out. Any of those and lead. Lead's no problem, obviously, but the gallium master lead is the one that's actually the important one. Because with that, gallium arsenide, you can take that, get nine of those, and then the uses of this one, which I think we looked at the other day anyway, was um, we can make all sorts of bits and pieces with this. So we can make nether quartz, flux, flux crystals. Okay, we can make a fluix pearl and we can some make some fluix dust as well. Uh, basically what we can synthesize. And at the moment I don't have any other way of doing that. So we would actually get, well, if we get basically one per one, which isn't that great, but with four silicon dioxide we get one nether quartz. So it's better than none. So that's what that's all about. In fact, I've got 29 of these now. So that gives us more cables for us for our processes, which is very useful. Let's have a look. What else have we got in here? All right, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. It's getting a bit full. Let's get rid of the coal. The coal and the um, and the stone is probably the best things to, to get rid of to start with. I'm just simply shift click that in there. Don't need that. And the copper ore. We'll have a look at that in a minute because we haven't got any of that until so far. Let's take the stone out of here. And you can see what we're actually getting coming into that. So it's sort of okay. Let's put it in this chest again, of course. Ah, wasn't actually. It's not going quite as fast as I need it to do now, but it's not too bad. We just need to make sure this chest is clear. I can't get this into the system until we get more cable, which, of course, is probably not actually that far away we could make more cable now couldn't we because we're getting this uh the scallium arsenide in so that's it's fairly good not ideal but it's fairly good so what else was coming in here let's have a look see this is now starting to go down so i don't need to worry about that anymore i'll let that finish and when that's finished we'll go and set it off again with one stack of carbon and we'll see the whole process go through right let's have a look how we're doing let's put this stuff away because it'll fill in my inventory I wanted to have a look at the uses of this stone time. So we can grind it for two facade, of course, and we can smelt it for one, macerate it for two, sagmill it for two and a gold chance, hammer it for seven. We can't hammer anything at the moment, so that's bad. Or we could actually get three copper from QED, smelt it, and we get two. 144 is one. Industrial crucible. This is a strange one. This is the one that. It's so at 216, which is a weird amount. Oh, we can we can get three from decomposing it, which is clearly the best way. And you can actually convert it to different types of copper ore. It doesn't make any difference which one you use. So we, we can decompose that. Let's do that. We get 48. 48 split by 3 is 16 doesn't matter where we put this like that 
we get three ingots. It's as simple as that. So that's, a, that's, a, so that's quite good, and that's definitely the best way to do this one. Right, I haven't done any quests so far today. Let's see how this is getting on, because really what I would like to do is to complete one of these quests. Yeah, it's nearly finished. I need this for the um, uh, industri industri no, Ignis Extruder. We also need to make some other bits and pieces for that, so let's do those while we can. So, Ignis Extruder, okay, I can't do that yet. Yeah, there's a, yes, this is where, um, there's a slight problem here. When I looked at the recipe before, the recipe hadn't loaded up properly, so I've got a different recipe for this. And so we need some redstone, so we better make some more redstone. So that's uh, iron oxide. Let's see what we've got, actually, for iron in here. Fe, oh, we got plenty of Fe. No, we didn't need three stacks. And we need some copper. Well, I'll just put the copper away. That was not too bright. Have I got some more copper in here? Yes, just five. Let's go and get some more copper from this, from there, which I've just put away. Copper in. Let's take this. See, there were two different types of copper in there, but it doesn't make any difference. And we need some oxygen. How much have we got in 144? Not actually enough. Oh, there's plenty in here, look. So we need to make some iron oxide to start with. Let's put that in there. So that's two. I hope it fits the right place. And three oxygen. Two iron and three oxygen produces that. 61. What am I short of? Some more oxygen. Not in there. I'm going to have to decompose some, aren't I? Let's just take some silicon dioxide and decompose that. Right, that's that's emptied that out now, so we've got no more oxygen in there. And then we want to... Um, see, I got 64 of these, didn't I? That's good. So we now clear those off, and then we put... I think it's which way around is it? I think it's one in here and one in the middle. No, that's five. Try again. Yes, good. So I need some more copper. Let's go and decompose some more copper. I need four ingots, don't I? Because each one will give me 16. I've got five, doesn't really help me very much. There we go. At least my arithmetic's working reasonably well today. So that should give me 64 redstone. And I have to keep repeating that until I get enough redstone. But that's actually not a bad start. I've probably got some redstone here for that matter. Yeah, 62. Let's get rid of this. So I'll see how this is actually processing. Not yet done. We can get rid of these. In fact, we can actually even put the redstone in there as well. In fact, what do we? Oh, take these. Do we want ten? We want ten, ten blocks plus a gold plus a. I don't think we've got any redstone reception because we do have one. But I've got to wait for the other stuff to finish first, which is where it becomes a bit of a pain in this pack. It's a bit slow in this respect, but I think he's got a solution for that. Let's take that, split that into three. Redstone. What happened there? Ten. Ah, oh, perfect. And I want two more redstone. Oh, I don't really need those now. We've got 72. So we've got enough redstone for the time being. How much further has it got to go for? I'm going to let this finish even so because we do need the machine frame for other things even though it's a pain because we've got to wait quite a long time for this to come up I also want some nodes and transfer nodes as well so let's prepare that one I need at least I'll make two so that's two more blocks of redstone and two more blocks of iron I'll take the iron this way redstone Oh, 
Lots of blocks of things, isn't it? Right, I'm going to pause here. Am I going to pause here? Let's have a quick look. Yes, no, I'm going to get some oxygen. Shut that one in there. While waiting, let's put some of this stuff back while waiting, get rid of that one. I would like to make some more aluminium wire. Now the difficulty with that is we need to make string. And we need quite a lot of string. There's a good there's actually quite a good way to do that. And I'll show you what that is. So when we make this igneous extruder, then we can complete this quest, but that's not so important at the moment. And when we when we complete this quest, we get a whole load of um, chests and uh, basically we get some well, enough stuff here to make a mob grinding area and with the mob grinding area we can then what we really get here we get sort of creepers spiders skeletons and zombies all evol evolved ones with their very interesting helmet and ga oxygen tanks don't ask me why you'd expect to have an oxygen tank for something that's already dead but there we are or doesn't even exist in real life and we never get spiders that big so you know that's minecraft it's part of the fun so let's put the stuff up here and put the potatoes up here and while that's finishing off hopefully it's done it now let's have a look how we're doing here see we've got plenty of saplings now and it's blocked out here on saplings so it's not making any more and plenty of wood in fact i'll let those finish so only got 22 of each which is great but I want to check my water supply because at the moment what we're doing for water 203 buckets what I'm doing for water is very easy and probably the best the best solution for water in this pack and that is I should really be using the um, what you may call it the, phy the phyto grow thing for making this but you know this is just as well I suppose it's more just the same really isn't it you're either growing it and harvesting it by hand or you're sticking it into the fact that grow is a bit of coal dust let's do these while I'm thinking about it oops move that out of the way right click those now what have we got how many seeds have we got out of that one okay that's not great but uh, better than nothing I suppose like that and then of course we can sort out these and sort out the potatoes and the carrots and while I've done that I probably should have got enough stuff now for the other stuff I hope so anyway right, that's the gardening done for today and put this stuff away oh, yeah, that's cactus as well I wanted to show you wasn't it so when you decompose cactus if I didn't show you before you actually get a lot of water see no water in there let's take that actually, take those out and put those away while that's doing it oxygen and silicon and I haven't got a tank for silicon in there but I've got enough space in there so we had 20 didn't we so you actually get 20 mesaline and then six and a quarter stacks of water all you have to do is take the water put it into here now each stack of water is about uh, well it's 16 it's 16 buckets isn't it because it's, it's eight buckets per is that the right number 64 no it's yeah it's eight buckets around I think of it so it's eight buckets eight 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 sixty four each time so we can just double check that 214 plus eight is 222 you see so that's two buckets for that one right so we, we end up with plenty of water, so that's no big deal now. 
and we got potato and we need that rotting potato do we poisonous potato so let's have a look see how we're doing over here hopefully yes we have got our machine frame and we've got our first transfer node which is great so what i can do now i can turn that off and i want to get a sterling generator made don't i because i need some power and if i put this in here we might be able to see also see the igneous extruder not the igneous it is the igneous extruder i want isn't it well it's probably off the list here so we can't see it until things disappear I could disappear one item there we go the igneous extruder so i can select that we can also i'll leave that like that and then this will carry on so now what is it doing it's probably doing the we're actually not sure to be honest with you. i think it's doing the sterling generator next anyway that hasn't got too much that's only six million only six million whereas the other one was a lot more than that and i'll leave this one in here so we get another transfer pipe and a machine frame so i don't think i'm going to complete any quest today which is a bit of a shame but uh in fact where's that gone to i want the pipe oops we don't have any nodes in here do we no oh, i've got one here fantastic but i haven't got enough pipe yet i need to make some more pipe i'll put this node back in here because i would like to show you this when it's before it's before too long i think it was one on here wasn't it like that and then down but we need a few more pipes before this is completed and the power i've actually set up the power i've got the power sort of red, ready to go i just need um here put the generator underneath that and then that'll power these machines and i've just got to fill it up with carbon every once in a while oh, i haven't done this one yet i'll do that i'll do that in my own time so nothing too special today just well we've got a machine frame and we've got the extruder on the way so until next time i'm gonna say bye for now